what recipe are you going to cast upon us today? Oh, do you see the tumbleweed? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah. Under the cameras. <laughs> right, anyway, so we've got a lamb recipe. Yum. So this is a great one. So you can uh, get the recipe now. You can go to the shops, buy it, put it in the oven, and you can have this by tonight. Brilliant. So it's really simple to do. It just needs a little bit of time to cook. Because okay. we're going to use the lamb shoulder. So a beautiful piece of uh, boneless lamb shoulder there. Yeah. Uh, we're going to cook it all in one pan. Great. We're going to roast it in the oven. We're going to braise it in the oven. Mm. We're going to take it mm. out. We're going to cook the pasta in the same pan. So all those flavours are going to go in together. And it's going to be absolutely spectacular. Yeah. And we're going to do a classic Greek salad to go on the side. Brilliant. Ooh, sounds so delicious. Can't wait to get stuck into this. Great to have you with us. We are here in the Beko kitchen. And Mark, this is a recipe that I've never really heard of before, but when you described it earlier, it just sounds perfect. Lamb, pasta, oh, all the good things. Right, so talk about the lamb first. So this is a bone shoulder. Mm -hmm. So obviously there's no, uh, there's no bone in there. Right. So it's really tasty, uh, beautiful meat. You know, there's a nice bit of fat in there. So slow cooking works really well, brings out all that flavour. OK, so we've got to chunk it up a bit. Yeah, so what we're going to do is just sort of Little uh, little chunks, you know. You can don't have to be too uh, fanatic about it. Mm -hmm. Do you oh, want this on? And, and no, no, no. Oh, okay. No. See, there you go. See, this is how easy it is. We're not even going to seal this meat off oh, first. Brilliant. You know, we're going to use the oven to seal it. Okay. And makes it even easier. So just nice, nice sort of even uh, even slices go through. If there's any extra sort of fat or any pieces that you don't want on the lamb. Um, you can just take off and just trim, but it's going to cook, be cooked for you know a long time, long and slow, so it will break down, it will nice. melt, and just give it that flavour. Absolutely beautiful. Right, so that goes in there. Okay, the importance of a sharp knife as well. Go That's on, sharpen it. your knives every now and again. Right, salt and pepper. Okay. So give it a really good seasoning. Uh, got some fresh um, oregano. So this is really nice. So I'm just going to tear that. That's just going to go over it. Why the specific cut of lamb? Does it work best just, with this dish? Yeah, just so you get more flavour. Okay. You know, you're going to get more, you get more flavour, and we're going to cook it a long time, so it just, you know, and it will just melt and it will just fall off and just strip down, and it's just going to be yummy. Right, ground cinnamon. Okay. So a little bit of sweetness in there that goes on. Excellent. Cinnamon stick in there as well. Cool. Right, some nice uh, olive oil. Be quite generous on that, and right, you give that a good uh, stir around. Okay. Make sure it's all coated. And then what we're going to do now is a little bit of onion. And that's it. And we're just going to pop this in the oven. So just peel the onion. Just going to slice it. Jeez, it's smelling good already. Yeah, you've got that. You've got, you know, you've got those fresh herbs. You've got the savouriness of the onion. And you've got the sweetness of the cinnamon mm -hmm. as well. So it just really sort of, you know, just makes it a little bit interesting and just something different. That goes in there. You know, make sure everything's coated, everything's mixed up. Goes in a hot oven about sort of 180 to 200 degrees. Um, obviously, take the handle off or, or do this in a casserole dish, which, which can go in the oven. You're going to cook it uncovered for about 45 to 50 minutes. I guess we don't cover it with some No, no, no. Anything, no. Leave so, it you want the heat of the oven, that's going to brown all the meat, it's going to cook down the onions, it's going to do all the work for you without you doing. Uh, you know, any work at all. And then we're going to get our next stage when we're going to add some liquid to it and then carry on braising it. Okay, cool. Well, I'll just... All right, you pop it in the pop oven. Pop it in the Pico oven here. It's fantastic. Make sure you take the handle off, which is always a good oh, point. Who's listening? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Done. Right, so we'll do the next stage as soon, shall we? Yeah, yeah. Well, things are starting to... Yeah, things are smelling great, and we've only just put it in the oven. And we'll show you how to finish off this Greek pasta bake very soon. So, through the magic of tally, here we go. Right, so this is our finished product. Yes. But you notice that we put it in the oven like at the last stage. Yep. So after about 45, 50 minutes, we had some crushed tomatoes and some um, stock as well. Okay and keep it in the oven, keep cooking it, and then this is what you end up with about an hour and a half later. So you can see the lamb's nice and tender, mm. the sauce is reduced down, and if you, even if you just taste a little bit of that, I mean, it's, you know, it's full of flavour now, but we are not finished. Oh, I know, it smells incredible, so I'll just give it a wee taste test. Mmm. Yum, yeah, that's good. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, and we're not even finished as much. No, we're not even finished. So just make sure you've got like a you know a nice amount of stock like that. Yeah. If it's a little bit less, you know, you can add a little bit of water or a bit more stock. We're gonna put the pasta in there now. Okay. Give it a good stir around. Okay, sweet. Make sure you've got the heat in there and turn it down and then just cook the pasta like you would normally, just in some water. But instead of cooking it in water and just having a you know a plain pasta flavour, it's gonna absorb all these flavours in there. And, uh, you know, it's going to go quite dry. It's almost going to be like a bit of a sort of a, a paella. OK, yeah, I get what you're saying. Really? You know, if you think it's a little bit wet, you know, you can always add a little bit more stock. That's fine. OK. But, you know, you don't want it, you don't want it sort of wet, OK? So you want it sort of quite dry and get it all absorbed in there. So we'll bring right. it up to the boil, turn it down, simmer it, 
So 15, 20 minutes until the pasta's nice and soft and that is ready to go. You know, just adjust your seasoning and serve it. <laughs> I can't wait. So now it's salad time. Right, salad time. So uh, it's a really, really simple. So I've got some nice ingredients here. So we're going to make a little Greek salad. Uh, make a really quick dressing or vinaigrette. So you've got three parts of olive oil and one part of uh, vinegar. Okay. So. <laughs> One. <laughs> yeah, yeah, two. No, so that's fine. So, Is that right? Uh, yeah, Three. Yeah. 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 Okay. So just, just your ratio, really. That'd Want a bit right. more? That'd be right. You reckon? Okay. Nice. Well, I mean, that's the beauty of it. You know, you can just, uh, just mix, mix it up. You give it a little taste. See, see if you're happy. If you okay. want it sharper, cool. add a bit more vinegar. So red wine vinegar. What we're we using? Oh, I'm a bit more red wine, thanks. Oh, sorry, chef. Yeah, cool. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's tasting good. Uh, you, you can give it a little season, a light season in there, just a, just a little bit, just to make it all come alive. And then we've got some cucumber, which we're just going to dice up. You know, so make your, make your dressing in the bowl, and then we're just going to pop all the ingredients in there. So some little green olives in there, some red onion, because we're not going to cook this, so it's going to be nice and raw. So just uh, nice. thinly sliced, gives you a nice bit of crunch and acidity. We've got cos lettuce there, and we've got a little bit of... Um, feta cheese as well oh. we're going to put in. Perfect Greek salad, Mark. You know, and I mean, that's how fast. There's no excuse not to uh, eat any salads. Right, you can turn that down to yeah, a I nice little simmer. Just turn this down a bit. It is smelling so good. And can I just say thank you to everybody that actually logs on to the uh, cafe website and gets the recipes, because I know you watch and then you're inspired, and then what they do is they go to the recipe section of our website and they cook it themselves at home. And if you ever do that, share with us how it all goes, because I know a lot of you do it. In fact, you know, I hate to say it, Mark, but most of the people I meet go, <laughs> oh, I love Mark, it's my favourite part of the show. I'm like, oh, and what about the other bits? And they're like, oh, yeah, I, like no, I still like the cooking. The <laughs> You know what I get told? What's that? Is he really that bad in the kitchen? Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I just made that up. Do you say I'm just acting? No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actually, part of the actually a qualified sous chef. Yeah. Well, I'm not. I'm making that up. Anyway, that pasta's, uh, the salad's smelling great. Yeah, so that's yeah. just a little bit of fat just crumbling through at the, the last minute. You can see, you know, you've, you've got a nice shine on all those leaves. It's not dripping in the vinaigrette. Right. So just be careful, you know, don't make too much or make it in a separate bowl and just add it to it. You know, but it's really fast, really mm. simple. We're just waiting for the pasta to cook, and that is uh, good to go, you know. Full nice. of flavour, nice and simple, and you can have it tonight for dinner. So when your pasta's ready, that dish is ready? Yep. Cool. Yep. OK, we'll let it simmer away for a little bit longer. We'll combine everything together, and you will see the end result towards the end of the show. Thank you, Mark. It smells incredible. Come on, bring it over. Bring it over. How's it going, Mark? <laughs> good. I'm just finishing off. See, that pasta's all cooked now. It's nice and rich. A little bit of parmesan over the top just to finish it, and Yum. some crusty bread. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Yum. A beautiful salad. Fantastic. There you go. Nice. Looks and smells divine. I'm sure it's going to taste great as well. What are you doing Monday? Right, Monday I've got paneer stuffed pancakes.